Hi guys and welcome back to the 52 week illustration challenge. As you guys have seen we are now in week 31 and the prompt was bunting. So I decided to do a different little take on today's thing um, in two ways. As you saw in the beginning there, uh, I'd actually done kind of a color test run in the beginning in my little Mon Mark sketchbook, which I really love. I'm falling more and more in love with that sketchbook, even though I kind of bought it as something to destroy. But the paper texture and everything is just such good quality. I'm really like surprised by it. And um, as you also seen in the beginning there, I'm using my Winsor Newton color palette again because like I said, it was just basically a test run in my little sketchbook, but I loved how the colors turned out, so I thought, you know, rather than trying to recreate them with my White Knights, I'll just use the exact same palette. And um, that seemed to work fairly okay. Um, but the problem is that for some reason on this paper, which is my favorite paper from Flying Tiger of uh, Copenhagen, it just doesn't react quite the same way as it does on the, um, the Mon Mart sketchbook for some reason. I don't know what it is, why it does that, but there you go. Anyway, um, I'm still fairly happy with how this came out. And as you can see there, I taped down some washi tape to create the lines for the wallpaper that's going on in the background there to uh, make some white gaps. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm, like I said, the, the, the watercolors from my Windsor Newton here, it's a little Cotman series if you're interested. It just doesn't react to this paper quite the same way. Probably because the texture in my Montmartre is a lot more textured than this, so it really just absorbs the watercolor, whereas this kind of has a bit of a resistance to it. So it just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't absorb it as well, and then it makes these streaky lines and patches, which are somewhat annoying, but, you know, something that I guess I can live with. But overall, so the idea for this, Obviously, bunting are those little flags. So there's decorative flags that you can use to put up for birthdays or whatever celebration that you're having, you know, and you just hang them up on the walls and such things. But uh, I have two curious <laughs> kitty cats, and one of them in particular, Boogie, my eldest, is very naughty. And if you try to hang up anything on the walls, it really, like, it's a temptation for him. He has to pull it down. And this is no exception, so if we were to try and hang something like this up, it wouldn't be up on the walls very long. So this kitty cat is inspired by Boogie. And uh, I decided to name the kitty cat Bunting, just to add to the little theme that we've got going on here. And uh, somebody has put up decorations for a celebration of some kind that's coming up, and Bunting couldn't help himself. I mean, the stuff is named after him after all. So he went ahead and yanked it all down, but unfortunately in his rough housing and playing with the bunting, he got tangled up in it. But as cats generally don't seem to care about such things, when his owner walked into the room, he just sat there proudly with his new decorations all over himself, and really couldn't be bothered less, but of course I'm sure the owner was not the least but pleased. So when I showed this to my boyfriend to kind of show the idea of what it is, he asked me if it was inspired by our cat. I said yes. <laughs> I think it was very much obvious. But yeah, actually, I was very also happy with, despite the fact that, like I said, there was a little bit of a problem with the cooperation with the paint on this paper, it still turned out the way I hoped, which is, you know, these days it's hit or miss. Like I said with the last prompt, I don't know what went wrong with my color scheme and everything. I probably should have done a test run like this, uh, but I didn't. I just... I was too confident, I was too cocky with it, and then we got a problem. But with this one, I decided to play it safe because I did like the drawing and my idea, so I did the color you know, test, and it was actually a smart move to do it that way. And I mixed most of the colors. Some just came straight from the pan, like on the, the bunting flags here. Those were straight from the pan, but of course, I mixed the pink and the minty green for the carpet, and uh, of course for bunting the cat. Now, I know it's a kind of purple shade on the cat, but there's that um, that one breed of cat, I think it's called a Russian Blue. Whenever I see their fur color, to me, it looks like purplish. I don't know, I love it though. I think it's a really nice shade on the kitty cat. It makes it look really unique. So that's the idea for where Bunting's colors came from. And uh, yeah, uh, basically, this went down a lot smoother than I was expecting. I was thinking that, as usual, 
you know, my drawing always comes out the way I want and the painting does not, but this turned out really well and I'm really happy with this. So this is another successful piece for me. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's basically all I have to say about this guy. I will be doing the usual finishing touches with my white gel pen at the end and uh, filling in his eyes with my new micron pens. Thank goodness I bought some new ones because the other ones are basically just all dead and I absolutely cannot live without my microns. But that's it for this one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as usual, please check out all my links down below. I usually have a lot of stuff going up on my Etsy these days. But I'm actually considering shutting it down because Etsy's taking too much money for, uh, you know, from these little independent artists that we are. So we're barely making really like anything off of it. And raising prices to an extreme amount is just not a possibility because then nobody can buy them and that takes the joy out of it. So I'm considering just doing my own little shop and having my own little sales to cut out the middleman so that I actually get some profit and you guys can actually afford to buy my stuff. But for those of you that have been buying, thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support. But I will be back again next week with the next prompt and I hope you guys will stick around until then. But until then guys, I hope you have a really great week and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I sure have and I will see you guys back here next week. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.